guys welcome to my channel and to today's video i am taking you along with me on my sunday morning routine if you're new my name is kaylin and i have alopecia and i make a lot of videos about that but that is why i'm waking up with no hair on i like to get my day started with letting some sunshine in and some coffee to take it easy and a little slower on Sunday mornings and take my time before the hustle and bustle of the work week starting the next day. So I go to the couch with my coffee and I go through my planner and I check my to-do list for today and then for the rest of the week just to see what I have going on. All done with my coffee I usually move to some sort of a stretch routine on Sundays I work out during the week and by Sunday I can usually tell that my body needs a good stretch I'm kind of laughing right now because I've never watched myself stretch on a video before and now I know that my husband is not kidding when he teases me about my head being shiny because she is shiny <laughs> I sped this up and condensed it down quite a bit, otherwise this part of the video would have been super long, but the stretch really did feel amazing. guys welcome to my channel and to today's video thank you for following along with my Sunday morning routine I got cleaned up after my stretching and I'm now at the grocery pickup at my local Fred Meyer um, waiting for my groceries I wanted to take you guys along and then show you an easy Sunday meal prep routine to get you set up for the week and show you how I stay on track with my meals so Oh, and I think the girl is coming. Also, just got the groceries, but before I take off for home, I wanted to say it's so funny to me. I live in Springfield, Oregon, and our winters get pretty cold. Um, not as cold as some places, but like we can get down to the teens and the 20s, but lately we've been in the 30s, so like freezing temperatures. And it's the middle of January, and it's super sunny out today, but it's still only like 55 degrees. And it just makes me laugh, because myself included, like, all of us Oregonians everywhere I look around we're all in t-shirts like it's summer weather so just funny but I'm loving the sunshine today okay we are back home now and I got the groceries unloaded and I'm gonna start my meal prep I'm starting with my lunches for the week and I'm making this like Greek Mediterranean style mason jar salad so I'm gonna get the toppings ready and then you guys will see how I assemble the salad
So I am starting with layering in the chicken and then you will see me move on to the cucumber, tomatoes, onions, and olives. And then I throw in feta cheese and the lettuce. The recipe said that you could put the dressing on the very bottom, but I decided to keep it separate and you will see that here in a minute, um, how I make the dressing. Okay, moving on to the dressing. This dressing is so simple and so yummy, and it is literally just olive oil, oregano, salt, pepper, and lemon juice, but it goes so good with this Greek style salad. Now I'm just cutting up some apples for an afternoon snack for my husband and I during the week. And I find that if I cut them up and then I store them in containers or little baggies, as long as we eat them that week, they really don't seem to turn brown on us. So I usually bring these, maybe some string cheese and some trail mix uh, for some snacks in the afternoon because I'm definitely like a 2 p.m. snacker when I'm at work. Alright, the last thing I'm prepping is my breakfast for the week. So I'm making some chia seed pudding and I had some fruit there that was frozen and I let it thaw on the counter with a little bit of sugar just to help macerate it. Um, and then I mix it in this bowl with the chia seeds and then I throw in a little bit of stevia just to help sweeten it a little bit more. And then I'm going to put almond milk in it and mix it all together. And at this point it still looks really liquidy and runny. Uh, but that's because the chia seeds need to soak up the liquid and the fruit in the fridge and that's what is going to give it that pudding consistency. Now you'll see me fill up the mason jars and then I top each one of them with some almond butter, some cacao nibs, and some granola. And watching this, I kind of wish I had put some hemp seeds that I had on them as well. Um, but that's okay. And then if you had coconut flakes, you could top it with some of those as well. And I think that would be really yummy. So I'll have these for my breakfast and I'll probably have a protein shake with them as well. But as you can see, I really kind of just eyeball everything. There's no exact science. I don't measure anything out. I just portion it how I think I would like it.
right guys, that is gonna wrap up this Sunday morning routine and easy meal prep with me. I hope you guys enjoyed and got some meal prep ideas and like and thumbs up. I guess liking and thumbs up are the same thing. But I love this video if you did get some ideas and if you enjoyed it. And subscribe if you wanna stick around for more. I make videos about wigs, my alopecia, and just routine and cleaning because that's what I enjoy watching. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you guys on the next one. Bye.